Hello, I'm Michael Cardin. I'm a third-year PhD student at the Front Note. I work at Fermi, and today I would like to talk about the segmentation of mammograms, and more specifically about the losses based on the morphological operators. First of all, I would like to disclose that this short paper is based on our recently published work in TMI, and this article goes in much deeper details than what we will cover here. But now, let's take a look on the mammograms, which are uh, the most commonly used images for the screen of the breast cancer. And the purpose of these images is to depict the abnormalities, if there are any. And uh, what we'd like to do, we'd like to find and segment these abnormalities, meaning we would like to generate pixel-wise predictions for these kind of areas. But in our case, what is difficult is that we don't have any bounding boxes around the regions uh, to use for training, but we just have only image-wise labels available, knowing that there is either nothing to segment or there is something somewhere in the image to be segmented. So to deal with that, what we propose, uh, we would like to use some prior knowledge and use the clinical background. So we know that obviously uh, the abnormalities is somewhere within the area of the breast, if it exists. And usually it's significantly smaller than the whole breast. I mean, the, sometimes uh, it may occupy more than half the breast, but these cases are rare. Uh, so each finding has some context. So there might be some speculated features, a spread of the finding, uh, and all type of features related to this abnormality. And uh, with this context, uh, the whole region is bigger than one pixel, so it has some uh, reasonable dimensionality. And knowing that, uh, we design our segmentation network and we set some constraints. So first constraint is size-based, and this is inspired by the work of Kerberdeck, uh, who proposed to set the penalty for uh, the segmentations, which are either too big or too small. And uh, we added on top of that uh, a penalty for all the benign images, uh, meaning if the image is benign, nothing is to be segmented, so the penalty should be uh, set for all sizes of the segmented prediction. But the problem with this approach, it's actually not enough, uh, because there is no shape constraints, so technically it's the same thing that uh, either one big region or several small spots everywhere. And to cope with that, uh, we propose to use morphological operations. Uh, we set two of them. First, it is token-based term, uh, who will train this model to ignore small regions. So we use uh, the result of the top hat operations, and they set added to the uh, common loss. And uh, to addition, uh, we add also the uh, closing-based term, who will prefer uh, fully filled regions uh, instead of some sparse and uh, holy regions everywhere in the breast. Uh, summing everything together allows us to first control the amount of segmented pixels, and second, uh, keep all the segmented pixels together with these morphological operations. And as a result, uh, we obtain something which is really cool. Uh, first, uh, in absolute improvement of guys, we get almost 14 points. Uh, we have much less isolated regions per image, so getting from 40 to 4 uh, isolated regions per image, which is cool. And uh, this approach opens uh, plenty of room for fine-tuning. We can choose different structure elements. Uh, we can also test different operators. Uh, here we use top hat and closing, but we could opt for opening, dilation, erosion, uh, white hat. Uh, it definitely uh, creates a difficulty of testing and trying different things, but for different cases, uh, something will definitely work better than other types of operations. So, if you want to know more, read our short paper, which uh, has more uh, numerical results. Uh, take a look on our full paper uh, and discover 
some additional topics we cover in there. And uh, definitely meet me at middle, uh, either live on Thursday or any time and the other time. And uh, now I thank you for your attention and uh, see you next week. Bye.